Lights, camera, action. Literally, this week we are unboxing the Cyclic Fly 12 CE and Fly 6 CE dual function action camera light combinations. Absolutely loaded with tech, as you will find out very shortly. And as ever, with GC Unboxing, you have the opportunity to get your hands on a set. Yeah, and not just one of you either, five of you will receive a front Fly 12 CE and a rear Fly 6 CE. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you can enter. But for now though, let's unbox. It's like a surgical precision. Oh, there we go. Ha ha! The Cyclic Fly 12 CE front light, which is where we're gonna start. Now, as I mentioned already, it is dual function, both light and also camera as well. Now, the reason being is that it's designed to be something that will benefit you as a cyclist when it's on your bike at all times. So as such, the light has an output of up to 600 lumens, making it a light to see with as well as be seen by. So great if you're barreling down an unlit road as well as being bright enough to act as a daytime running light at other times. And it's also got three functions on there, or three brightness settings rather, as well as a solid, a flash, and a pulse mode at all three of those brightness settings. So you can tailor it to the conditions that you're riding through. So very much a proper light if it was on its own. But what sets this apart, obviously, from its lighting competition is the fact that there is a camera attached as well. And if that was on its own, that too is every bit the proper camera as well. It shoots at 1080p and 60 frames per second via this super wide angle lens here with a field of view that's 135 degrees. Now, you don't just have to take my word for it. The proof is in the pudding, or the footage. As you can see here at the Red Hook Crit a couple of weeks back, And indeed, in Iceland, uh, the video of which is actually out today, incidentally. <laughs> and yes, that, that's me crashing as well. Uh, right, now one of the important things about action cameras to get great footage when you're on the bike is image stabilization. And so this, very importantly, has six axis image stabilization, which is why you can get the footage that you've just seen, even riding down gravel tracks. If you watch that Red Hook video I've just been talking about, you will have seen that it's pretty wet and miserable in Milan, which is quite ironic, because actually it wasn't that wet or miserable in Iceland. But anyway, there we go. Had it been wet and miserable in Iceland as well, it wouldn't have been any bother for this unit though, because it's waterproof to a depth of one meter, which would be a pretty catastrophically bad ride, if you ask me. Uh, but one of the cool functions in addition to that waterproofness is the fact that the internals of this have apparently been treated with some form of nanotechnology, meaning that the actual circuitry itself is hydrophobic, literally repelling water. As I said a little bit earlier, this unit has been designed to benefit cyclists at all times when you're on your bike. So part of that is, of course, down to the light. Part of it, of course, is down to the camera. But the real ace card comes from additional functionality in the camera. So when you switch it on, the camera automatically starts recording and it will do so continuously until you switch the unit off again. Now, of course, you might be wondering, well, surely then you're gonna run out of space on your memory card relatively quickly, but no. So the camera will automatically overwrite footage that is two hours old, meaning that it's constantly recording in case an incident happens, either a good one, i.e. you record me falling off my bike, or a bad one, i.e. it records you falling off your bike as a result of someone else. Now, if nothing happens, you don't need to therefore go and delete loads and loads of boring footage, it's doing it for you. But if something does happen and you want to save it, you simply press this button and it will record the preceding few minutes of footage. I, you see something great, you press the button and the footage is saved. You tell it exactly how many minutes you want via the companion app. But what happens if you're involved in an incident and you're not in a position to press that button? Well, 
do not worry, because this unit apparently can detect when you're involved in a crash via its internal accelerometers, meaning that it will automatically save the preceding few minutes of footage so that later on you can analyze exactly what happened. Genius. Basically then, as well as being an action camera, it is also a dash cam for cyclists. Let us move on now to the rear light. So there we go, the Fly 6 CE, like the Fly 12 CE, but designed for the back instead. So it shares many of the same features from the camera, so it shoots at 1080p, it's got that six axis image stabilization in there as well. The difference being really is that the light is a red one instead, so it emits 100 lumens. Uh, it shares the same settings, so you've got three brightness settings. You've also got solid flash and pulse modes as well, as well, in fact, as a camera only mode, just like the front. In camera only mode, it will last seven hours of recording, and if you've got the light on as well, between four and five hours. Finally then, both of the Fly 6E and the Fly 12 CE can be controlled perhaps obviously by the device itself, but also via the companion app as well. So from this, you can turn the lights on and off, you can set it to record or stop recording, but then you can also customize a whole host of other functions. So you can set which of the lighting settings you want to be able to scroll through. So probably not all nine will be of use to you, so you can maybe choose your favorite three. And as I've already mentioned, you can customize how the camera is recording. So what frame rate you want, what resolution you want, and how many minutes of footage you want it to save when you press that little Q button there. And then there is also a built-in editor function onto here, so potentially, you don't even need to finish your bike ride in order to upload your amazing soon to be viral video of me crashing just in front of you. In fact, you could do it from the cafe where this device will also function as an alarm for your bike. Those built-in accelerometers will tell you when the bike is moving when you trigger that button there. Someone stealing my Pinarello. I'm gonna run after them in my cycling shoes. Again, that alarm function kind of comes back to that original aim to design a unit that is gonna aid cyclists at all times when it's on your bike. So you've obviously got the visibility function, you've got the function to record good footage, the function to record negative footage if the incident arises, and then that alarm as well. So loads of features then to make you want it on your bike, and very little to make you think you wouldn't want it on there. I mean, they're super neat, they're really light, 195 grams for that front unit and just 115 grams for the back. And should you wish to take them off, like to charge it, it's a pretty quick job. Pretty quick being the understatement of the year. It's just an eighth turn mount, of which, of course, there is one in the box. There's your eighth turn mount. Ta -da. And there is also an adapter to a universal camera mount there, meaning that you could still use any existing mounts that you have, but with the added convenience of being able to take the unit on and off with an eighth of a turn. If you've got one question left, I can pretty much guarantee I can guess what it is. How do you enter the giveaway to actually try and get your hands on one of five sets of these cyclic lights and cameras? Well, it's as simple as ever. In the description beneath this video, there is a link. Click on that and it takes you straight through to the giveaway page. Not exactly complicated, is it? Now, as I mentioned earlier on, we have a video that we filmed over at the Red Hook Crit in Milan, where Hank had one of these on his bike to capture that amazing crash footage. Definitely worth checking out the whole video, so if you haven't seen that, do make sure you watch it. And of course, I mentioned the Iceland video, where we check out some epic gravel. Give that one a watch too.